28th of March, 2020. Dear Mom, as you know, we have to stay in the last country that we visited, the Czech Republic. It is a beautiful land covered by mountains and known for its beer, as well as one of musical favorite artists, Mucha. Ludivine was already volunteering for three weeks in the biggest horse breeding farm of the country when I joined her. A day later, the world got crazy and the travel ban was decided all around the country. At the farm, they have been kind enough to welcome us for a longer stay as French refugees. The property of the farm is huge. I think that they currently have about 80 horses and it seems that they own the entire mountain. We stay in the walkaway's room, a double bed, some drawers and a side table. Nothing fancy, but all the comfort that we need. On a side note, we also have a hot shower, but somehow I am still under a stupid challenge that I made to myself of sticking to a cold shower every morning. And I have to admit that all cold showers are not the same. Here, the water comes directly from a well straight under the house and the cold chills you to the bones. The pace of the day is dictated by the meals. We get up for the 8 a.m. breakfast, come back from work at 12 for the lunch, and at 6 p.m. for dinner. There are between 6 and 10 people every day, and all of them are taking turns for cooking. They used to run a restaurant and a bar, so the kitchen is of a very, very high standard. They have industrial-sized pots, pans, sharp knives, and enough food to last a siege, eating like a king. Every morning, we get assigned a task that varies between fixing the paddock, cleaning the stables, taking care of the animals, and of course, cooking. Usually, I am on the fencing duty. I take my equipment, hop in the car, and we drive to one of the fields with the dad. I check every wooden pole and make sure that they are all not shaky, not broken, or not too small. There is a lot of hammering involved, some electrical shock as well when I forgot to disconnect the current, and some reusing of old rusty nails that are always bent. Not long ago, I started the repair of the stallion's fences, which is entirely made of wood. I used the chainsaw for the first time and I had to look on YouTube to learn how to start it. When Ludivine is not helping with the fences, she feeds the horses and cleans them. But it seems that cleaning them is a never-ending process, especially at the end of winter. They lose so much hair that it covers your entire body. Sometimes we get taken out for a ride through the forest with a friend of the family. We rode in the snow and trotted on the grass. I learned that, like when you're in a car, it is important to keep your distances. We also had some lessons with Vietka. We are taught about so many things, from the massage of the horse to the cleaning of their hooves. She's a very patient teacher, especially with me, when I argue about the sitting position on a horse even if I don't know anything about it. We have also witnessed the birth of two small horses last week. I was impressed that they can already walk from their first day. Oh, and one more thing. We are not allowed to go back to the field of the yak. Those apparently are meat cow from Scotland who are adapted to the Czech mountains. We are told that they are dangerous because the horned cat easily impale any of us in a second. Lots of kisses. Yours truly, Charlie.